Oh, oh my god. <laughs> oh, surfing on a food cart bench in the river. Has a scary face also. What is this Majora's mask? It's lonely here without Master Flambe. Master Flambe. Oh my god, what the hell? A pizza and a French toast. Yeah, I guess you're right. Looking at Princess Cupcake's. Princess Cupcake! You said it. If it weren't for her, Master Flambe would still be here. Hey, that looks just like Kayla. And they're like, who the hell are you? <laughs> we didn't invite you in here. What are you doing? Okay, this is off to a weird start. Travelers beware. This is the Flambe Forest. Long ago, there was a skilled master chef named Flavio Flambe. Flavio Flambe. Because he was young, up and coming. These names cracked me up. Master Flambe was eager to please the beautiful princess, and Princess Cupcake was very demanding. So she was a gluttonous bitch then. By the time the masterpiece pizza was finished, Princess Cupcake had already arrived oh. at the local pizza place downtown, where the service was a little faster. Wow. Master Flambe waited for as long as Oh good. What the heck? Break it down to song all of a sudden? Who's singing this? That's what I'd like to know. Uh, okay then. <laughs> Yeah, good, good, good call. Oh, let's not cut the what the hell? Where did the French toast come from? <laughs> a pager? Seriously, there are pagers in this universe? What the hell? Oh, good. Oh. Fuck you. Thank you. But she landed on her feet. <laughs> just kicking her ass. <laughs> so in this universe, they're not only like, exist pagers, but also ghost food ons. I mean, I guess you know, since food ons are technically alive, I guess they have souls. So maybe if a food on dies, then I guess it could come back as a ghost. But. I don't know, that just seems kind of weird for living food to have ethereal forms that can come back to haunt the living as ghosts when they were man-made in the first place. Uh, it's like the Pokemon graves in the Pokemon games, I guess. Boo. Woo, so scary. Shut up, Pie Tin. Ooh. <laughs> I know where this is going. What? Are you serious? A, a fan and a, a voice of. Oh, uh, fuck. Did it just go right through his head? Oh. Wait, did that omelet just breathe fire? Yeah, it's still alive. Those things are so creepy. Good job, Grease Blob. They're grease stains. Grease that's that's lovely. Now that they're in, who knew those, who knew those could be turned into food ons? Well, then again, burnt meatballs can be turned into food ons. Do you ever stop complaining, Python? Oh, good. You can turn the whole place into a poltergeist situation. Really? They're they're so cowardly that they're even afraid of funhouse mirrors? That's dumb. 
Yeah, screw her. She hasn't been useful anyway. I should also know that the old man has certainly changed in appearance as we saw him in the last episode when he was this big, beefy guy. I'm wondering if maybe that mushroom stuff didn't last very long. That would make sense. Whoops! <laughs> you know, for food I'm called Frenchy La Toast, he doesn't sound French. It's a kitchen. Big deal. I bet that one's real. Ever thought of making new dishes, Chase? Cause... I mean, the fried rice has been okay and all, but maybe it's time for stronger foodons, you know? He's been cheesed. <laughs> Same thing's gonna happen to him, you idiot. Unless you got a plan in mind to avoid slices cheesy projectiles. I I said that joke already. Fuck you. Oh, the power top is. Why haven't you guys been using those? Since the second episode. I mean, that would have been really useful at all. You haven't won yet, dipshits. And that got Omelette's attention, and then sh it saved you. Wait, but Omelette could just breathe fire, this'll be okay. You don't need to freak out, just tell Omelette to fry that sl pizza slice. Oh. What? He was in a painting the whole time? Oh. Uh, what? Oh my god, she looks exactly like her. So that's why Claudia kidnapped her. Except with a different hair color. Your Highness, I present to you this pizza. Please sit down and enjoy it. And then it's like old and disgusting and shit. Or it just magically appears and it's totally fresh. Master Flambe, I'm afraid you're making a mistake. I know you worked very hard creating this pizza, but you've forgotten one very important thing. A great master chef should cook for the sheer joy of hmm. cooking. Not to receive a compliment. You just got owned, flambe, bitch. This ghost pizza tastes delicious. Did she turn into the princess, or is flambe just delu delusioning himself? And by the way, you were a bitch. Bye. And now the picture's smiling. Whoop-dee-doo. Ooh, boy.